Am I about lying? What crazy. and queens and there. They're coming. The kings and queens and there, everyone else. They're coming, they're coming. <laughs> oh, my God. Up his son, they're kings and queens. When they are clean and a cook. <laughs> Them say a woman's work never done, right? That's true. It never done. <sighs> All y'all doing? Mm -hmm. May I cook? May I clean? Yeah, that's what I do. May I have a function for the later on. So, Miss Vanilla decided to turn on the live for me. Yeah, it's a long time I'm going to come chat with you guys been missing m.i.a yeah a little bit huh oh yeah sunday going eh on a can car help me clean eh <laughs> on a car come help me on a just come for watch me uh, on a come for watch me all right on a watch me then no Happy Sunday to y'all, wherever you're watching from. I don't, I don't know. What time now? I mean, we'll say around and I was two o'clock. I'm not sure. Somewhere around there. So. Somewhere in there. Yeah. But, and for some of y'all, may I clean too late, may I cook too late. Well, a girl was up to like four o'clock this morning. Yeah, four o'clock this morning. So, yeah, that's why. Yeah, me's a night owl. Yeah, me's a night owl. Me totally could have like a night job. Yeah, because me is just a night person, not a morning person. Yeah, if you're not seeing a street, please don't point it out to me. Because this mirror is very hard for clean. You know, hear me? So, as long as me not see nothing, me not care what I want to see. Yeah? Me not care what I want to see. Ah, oh, Jesus. So, I bring up the live. You know, it's not no drama. <laughs> it's not no negativity. First and foremost. It's none of that. All oh, the sun yeah. are coming from the. It has come from the glass outside. The glare, yeah. It's not no negativity or anything like that. Me just come because social media have been crazy now, um, for the past few days or so. Well, I think yeah, and I just want to stop in and um. And talk to my kings and queens. Yes. And I don't want anybody with no negativity this morning or this afternoon on my platform. Right? What I'm going to say, I'm not out here to go against anybody or dissect anything or anything like that. It's 2023. And it's... A brand new year and I would really 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 love to see us do better do better as a people yeah first I want to big up and send some love this morning to my auntie big up yourself auntie stay strong you're an awesome woman I will always and forever say that You've inspired me and so many other people. Um, it's, and I heard that you're walking away from charity, which kind of made me sad, but 
all good things have to come to an end and I understand I understand it because you know a lot of stones a lot of bricks have been thrown at you and thank God for giving you so much strength because some of us could never handle it you have done an amazing job I said it behind you I said it in front of you and I'm here today to say it again not that you're God you're not God I never looked at you as God I looked at you as an inspiration not only for me because I look at the bigger picture and a lot of people I don't think look at the bigger picture the bigger picture is this you are not just an inspiration, like I said, for, for a woman like myself in America and all over the world and in Jamaica, your country. But what I looked at is the little young girls and boys, even older people in the ghetto that probably thought that life was hopeless, there's no way out, and would turn, take your time with me people, would turn the things that would um, definitely put them in the wrong direction in life. What you did for those people is to show them that it's not where you're from, it's not where you, it's not where you live. I'm sorry because you're not from the ghetto as far as I can remember. It's not where you live. You show them some people who probably used to bake and never have confident confidence to get up and say, you know what, I can make a living doing this. That's what you've shown them. You show them that you can put some stuff in a basket and you can make a living from that. If you have a phone. You don't have to take it and do the wrong thing, the things that are not productive to your life. Instead, you can take that phone and you can go and you can open a YouTube channel. And all it takes is to be yourself. That's a way out for you. That's a way out for your family. <sighs> That's what you did, Donna Marigo. And if you decided to walk away from charity, you have done an amazing job. You have changed so many people's lives and we will never forget that or discredit you in any type of way for that. Thank you, my sister. Thank you for doing it for the people in our country. Something that so many people should have admired and take a leaf out of your page and let this be something in every community. Can you imagine what a beautiful thing that would have been? But oh no, it became a jealousy thing. Because a woman like you should have just helped people and you should have looked and be in the same situation as the people that you're helping or that you were helping. Why are we like this? I don't know. I really, really don't know. 
Mm. We don't like to see each other raise up, elevated, do better in life, attain the things that we as little girls and little boys used to just lay down and imagine. Sometimes we didn't even know how we gonna get there or it's even possible. And when we found a little bit of possibility and we work hard and we expand on those possibilities, some people see it as a truth. Some people just get up and hate you for it. You look at my home for some people, you look at the background and you say, yes, she have a beautiful home. Yes, I do. But my husband and I, we had to put in the work. We work very, very hard. I don't like bills. <laughs> I don't like bills at all. So when we had the opportunity to work in good, in, um, in good paying jobs, we made a sacrifice that my husband is going to pay the mortgage and so will I. We get 30 years to pay off our mortgage. But instead, because I don't like bills, we put aside vacations. We put aside shopping. And we did it in 15 years. You might come up now and see, oh, it's nice. And you want to eat me for it. But you weren't there during those storms when we used to do two jobs. You won't, you won't, you weren't here during the time when my husband was in school and I was the only one bringing in an income so he could achieve his goal and vice versa. You only see the glory, but you don't know the story. And I don't for the life of me understand why we love to rip down each other and not be happy for each other. Now there was a situation that happened on a live where a queen, still consider her a queen, still someone that I love. She made a statement using the C word. Vanilla was on the live. I wasn't on the live. Vanilla called me and she told me about the live. And I was actually, I was so tired. I was in my sofa, almost dozing off. And I said, I'll go watch it. Um, right after that, I had a call from the platform holder and she said, she, she laughed, she was laughing and I started laughing too. Cause at this point, kings and queens, I had no idea of what was going on. Tired, I said, she had called me, I missed the call and I called back. She started laughing, she said, I didn't know you were in a sea. I said, what are you talking about? I appreciate the phone call, queen, thank you. I said, what do you mean? She told me, someone screenshotted a statement 
from a platform that was made for chocolate and vanilla. Now, I'm not going to get into, into all of that. But why I'm saying this. If an assumption was made by so many people, then my queen, an assumption was made by you as well because you didn't call and, and say a statement has been made from your platform. I'm not sure if it was you or Vanilla. Right off the bat, I could tell that you thought it was me. So... We all makes we all makes assumption assumptions at some point in our lives. I know how Vanilla thinks. She's gonna hear something from she, she. Well, we've talked, and I really don't have to go into what we've talked about. But she have heard that word from someone who doesn't like our auntie a lot. So, with her hearing that, and to hear it from someone, she did not expect to ever say it. Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind, people, that it's not, e even if we support you, it's not every live we watch. We have a life. We have businesses. We're not on social media 24-7. If I go to my auntie's live and she mentions someone or big up someone... It's not everybody, but in some cases we'll say, okay, let's go support that person. It doesn't mean we sit on that person's live all the time and we do a background check in finding out exactly who that person has. We don't do background checks. We just say, okay, that got to be a good person. She's bigging that person up. Let's go support that person. Social media has become such a toxic place that I'm afraid now to comment on platforms. Because the thing about it, sometimes I'll be upstairs in my office working and um, I come on, I'll just click into social media. And for example, I'm going to, I feel safe using my auntie. My auntie's on and she's talking about something. I don't hear the entire conversation. All I do is set up a heart just to say, recognize that I'm here, whether she does or not. Or sometimes I'll, on, it depends on what platform, I'll just go in and say, good morning, beautiful people. Don't have an idea what the topic is what they're talking about. I just want to make my present known and just send up some love. And I'm off my phone, back to my work and working. Now, it could be a situation where that person is on his or her platform talking against somebody that I support, you know, and I send up a heart and someone screenshot the heart and send it to that person that I support. Now that person is going to think I'm in agreement with whatever that person is saying. It's just crazy. It is just crazy to me. I don't see who's dead live lives I go back and watch, to be honest with you. If I don't catch you on your live, that's it. That is it. So in saying all of that, when um, Vanilla made her statement, I know Vanilla just react because she knows how much I love Auntie. It's not just on camera. It's off camera. She's with me a lot because we work together. So she heard that heard, and she knows who always uses that term in describing the planker shop. So, of course, she's going to be like, okay, chocolate got to be a part of that yes i agree okay it's an assumption all right but the same way the person call thinking it was me that is also an assumption correct me if i'm wrong my people that is also an assumption because you did not say i'm not sure which one of you made that comment the first statement is i didn't know you were in a cult you understand what I'm saying? So none of us out here are not perfect. We're not perfect. Everybody has 
um, a right to their opinion. I don't come out here and pretend I'm perfect. If you, if I give you that impression, I'm sorry, but I'm not perfect. Um, what I love to do, I love to come out here. I love to sing. I love to give back because I know what it's like to be without. I give from my heart. I don't give because I want praises because my supporters will tell you a lot of them. I don't bring 99.9% .9 of what I've done behind the scene to social media. Be I, um, I want to entertain. That's what I'm out here to do. If I support you, I support you genuinely. I said I'll never come out here and throw anybody that I support under the bus. And I mean that. I won't do that. I still love each and every one. I love my best friend. Vanella's my best friend and I'm not going to come out here and throw her under the bus either. We've talked and we have have an understanding she has a voice of her own. I have a voice of my own. I understand that I'm more vocal when we're on live. You understand? I'm the one, the crazy one, and that's fine. We're two different people. But what I'm also amazed of, people, is the fact that I was just looking into this. I said, if I was the one who came out and made that video Vanilla did, I would have been tracked all over social media. Boy, would they go up under me? They would, which I'm glad they didn't go up under my friend. But what I'm saying is why we have to be this way to each other. Vanilla doesn't give a rat sauce. That's Vanilla. You can cuss her from morning till night. She don't make that move her. She gonna call me chocolate. I found out this to make our business better. Did I found this out, this is what we can do. That's vanilla all day, every day. Vanilla don't care. But I've heard people out there classing her, calling her vinegar, calling her dundus and all of that. What y'all fail to realize, and I'm gonna say this, and I don't care who I offend. I really don't care. Because People should have catch me in the time when I didn't know how to play sightings. Believe me, you don't, you don't um, come to America and, 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 and create a great life without having to go over some hurdles, without having to do some sightings. Let me tell you. So I'm immune to all of that. You understand? I work at a company where with, within less than a year, I got promoted. And everybody that used to speak to me, stop, talk to me, period, in my department. And you, may, you think that let me stop going to work? I get up and go to work every day with a smile on my face. I not talk to them. They not talk to me. I only delegate to them what needs to be done and then better do it. Because I went with the intention, I came to this country to better my life. I'm not going to let you who don't speak to me prevent me from accomplishing that. The company has sent me, go up and train and put me up in the most luxurious hotel. Me for me, because who do not talk to me? Make me quit and not pursue my dream. Them not chat to me till all of them have to turn around and chat to me. Because I went to work same way. Do my job. Get get up and leave and do the same thing, the same thing, because I know I had a mission. So I'm going to say this. Them call vanilla vinegar. Them call vanilla dundus and all them stuff. But when I realize, say, as somebody that look like a vinegar, and he's a dundus like vanilla, create what is called Meta on Facebook. So you can have a voice to come out here with a venom and treat people the way you not treat people. Don't forget that somebody will look like vanilla. I send on a check every 20 or so at a month. You understand? And look at us now as a race of people. I'm proud to be black. But me embarrass us some amount of behavior. Because I wish we could do better. I wish we could build something together. 
I wish we could really change lives. You imagine us in our room, given the opportunity to create Facebook. You imagine the disaster it would have been? Because some of we that say, the angry face is not red enough. The one with the crying emoji, the eye water not long enough. We need a thumping emoji for thump somebody when we think them not talk. What we want them for here. Ah, it would be chaos. Me look at other races and says, when are we going to get it together? Hmm? When are we going to do better as a people? When are we going to support each other? Really cheer for each other? Really want to see everybody excel and do great? I want to see us all succeed. I want to see us all do great. Stop bad mind on our own people. Stop it. It's a new year. You can't continue doing the same things, expecting a different result. Stop. There's nothing wrong with a little drama because we are from a culture that loves drama. But to the level in which this is getting, it's out of control. Don't hate me or hate my sister for what she has achieved. It's there for everyone. You have to walk for it. The cussing and eating and bad mind not going to get you it. Or the progressive people on social media because we're not the only one. You understand? It's not going to get you it. A walk is going to get you it. Because it no matter how much you make of a social media, if you don't know to invest it properly, you won't see a return. So you won't get up and curse and curse and carry on and carry on. Get that money, spend it and curse and curse and curse till you get old. And then you or you fall off and nobody remember you. Try to create something that when you turn off your camera, people can remember you for. Do that. Whomever art is cool, put a blanket over it. Whomever is bitter, try and jump into a bathtub or a pool of sugar. Wanna need some love out here. Wanna need some kindness out here. I'm never gonna let this thing called social media consume me. Never. I come on when I feel like it. And that's about it. I'm still going to help who I can help. I'm still going to come out and make people laugh when I can. I'm going to give back. Not to make people dependent on me. But because I know. And I still. And I'll always remember. What it's like. To be without. If you want to fool me. That's between you and your God. That's I did it. Because of what you told me. That's how I'm going to live my life. I'm not in any back and forth with anyone. I didn't come out here and say I'm going to be defender of the universe. Never promise anybody that. Never ask anyone to defend me. But if you do, I appreciate you. Understand? One person will come on here and say, I will stand up for. Because it's a bigger picture than what most of us see and looked at. She is, she is a depiction, not just for women like you, I'm not talking about the eaters, but for our little girls and boys and people who have lost hope because of where they're from or where they're living. She showed them ways that they can see something brighter than what they were looking at. For that, my auntie, I will always be proud of you. Have your back on social media and off of social media. 
with no strings attached, no circle that I want to be in, is because the love you have for people, which I share, not to get any hype or anything. Yes, you have shared us. You have big us up and I'm grateful. Your people came over and support us and I'm grateful. I will never be ungrateful and say, I did this all on my own, all these views. No, other platforms have mentioned us. Yes, and people heard of us and they came over and we appreciate it. Yes. So that's all I want to get into this Sunday. Sorry, my kings and queens, we won't be out later on with our service. Um, we have a, an engagement to go to later on, but we'll be back out um, and continue with our praise and worship, our cage of credits and whatever else new we can come up with. We're so busy. Um, I'm try we're trying to launch our new line by the summer. It's a lot of work and a lot of things going into it. So we're consumed by that. Um, you know, so it's nothing, it's not me, us being afraid of anybody on social media. I'm not afraid. And I'm going to come up in the camera. I'm not afraid of anyone on social media. I'm afraid of God that's who I'm afraid of because he brought me too far mm -hmm. it, he's too good for, to me for me to indulge in certain things yes and it it's not bringing me anything nothing at all yes so I love you guys as always yeah, and there's nothing you guys can do about it. Um, like I said, I'm cleaning and I'm cooking. I'm cooking oxtail, uh, oxtails and some um, fried chicken wings. And today, the last day, I'm gonna eat an healthy. I'm gonna start eat healthy because I eat a lot over the um, Thanksgiving and Christmas. I'm a fine out so my passport expire. I got expire. So I have to push back my trip. And after I push back my trip now, guys, I find out that I could have um, go to our agency and get it two weeks prior to traveling. That's what I find out. Neither pay attention and know that my passport expire. I escape my escape coming back from Jamaica. Remember me tell you? Yes, escape. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Oops. So, um, yeah, but it's all good. God is good. And I can't complain. Y'all have a blessed Sunday, right? Eat up on a nice, good up, good up Sunday meal. Yes, make sure to pray over it first. And give God thanks, right? I love you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I don't want to watch me clean more. Um, I have my um, niece picture here. I want to pass away and sit at my grandbaby right here. And she smudged it up because every time she come over, me bring her up to it and say, look at baby Adriana. And she touch it. <laughs> so all these little tiny fingerprints, they're all over it. Yeah, she go well when she, <laughs> when she see her picture. <laughs> yes. So me I wipe down her little tiny fingerprints them right yes so that is just let us just be happy i'm gonna care who wanna take my video now and dissect and cuss because there's nothing to really curse about but you know how people are on social media <laughs> you know um that's fine i'm not looking <laughs> all right mr i'm busy busy trying to do things that are gonna benefit my life and benefit my grandbaby's life. That way she'll never have to ever in need of anything <laughs> what
whatsoever. But education. <laughs> That's it. Y'all have a good day. Love you guys. Goodbye.